Hello, and welcome to a video on how to make an ARC server. ARC is an open world action adventure survival game filled with dinosaurs, monsters, and other hostile human players. Today, we'll show you how you can make your very own ARC server to play with your friends online. The first step is to go to scalycube.com and click Sign Up to create a new account. Once this is done, log into your account and make your way to Servers. Click on Buy Server and select ARC. Click on Get Your Server. Click Next. Select your location and click Next. Select the number of slots you would like your server to have. Select the map you would like the server to have. This can be changed at a later date free of charge. The next step is to select a server address for your server. For this video, we are selecting the default IP with port. This can be changed later. Click on Next. Here, you can select any additional applications for your server. These can be selected at a later date if required. Confirm your server details and click on Pay. Select your payment method and finalize your payment. Once the server has been purchased, make your way to the Servers tab and click on Manage Server. To connect to your server, open Steam, then click View at the top left of the page, then Servers, then Favorites, then Add Server, and enter your IP address in the field. To connect to your server via Epic Games Launcher, create a single player game, open Console, click Tab, and type Open IP Address. This server list is administered by Steam. We have no control over it. However, your server should be listed within 24 hours after you've played the game for at least a couple of hours. If your server is still not showing up, please contact Steam support. Your ARC server features and management. Go back to the Scalacube control panel and click on Manage. Clicking on Console will allow you to see server-specific details of your server with more of an administrative touch. Clicking on Settings will allow you to change server-specific settings, from the name and description to the map and many more. Here you can also change the game.ini and gameusersettings.ini configuration files. Clicking on File Manager will allow you to manage your server files if you need to remove, add, or replace any files. If we go back to the Game Servers page and click on the Backup System, we can set up a server automatic backup feature so no data would be lost in the future. Clicking on Cluster will allow you to set up a cluster system connecting your servers to one and making it so that you can travel between your servers without leaving the game. To make a cluster, you need a minimum of two servers with both given a dedicated IP address. Clicking on Scheduled Tasks allows you to set a scheduled task on your server to act as your server, like restarting or starting a server in the console for more automation. If we click on Monitoring, we can see the resource usage of our server and plan our mods accordingly to how much resources we own. Just in case this video is not fully explained, I've also put a link in the description to the Scalacube website to the same guide explaining the same method step-by-step -step with images. That is all for me today. Have a nice day. Goodbye.